story behind the Amelia's Notebook series, I think Amelia's like my ninth or 10th book. So I'd been doing traditional picture books before then where the words and pictures are very separate. In fact, you write the text, you send it to the editor, they okay it, then you do the pictures. There's text on one side of the page and the art's on the other, depending on how it's laid out. I think this is something we all do. We think in words and in pictures. I wanted to do a book where I could go back and forth between words and pictures more seamlessly. Notebook format allowed me to do it. I don't work on a computer, but I wasn't working on a typewriter. I was working in a notebook and writing and drawing as it came to me, just like the notebooks I had when I was a kid. That's what kids do naturally until they're told, don't do that, don't draw. And also it's something that I think kids around the age of nine, they become self-critical of their drawings and they stop drawing because they think I'm not good enough, that's not good enough. And then they become grown-ups who can't draw. And that they lose a me. really valuable skill. And it's not just the drawing they lose, they lose what I call visual intelligence, that ability to look and think critically about what you see.